Today's video is super simple. We'll go over three effective methods to fix the MSVCR 100.dll error that pops up when launching games or some programs. But this error is especially common in games like modern PAS games, especially PAS 2017, 2018, 2022, and any newer versions. It also shows up in games like GTA, Need for Speed, and others. Personally, I used to get it when launching Call of Duty, but thankfully it was fixed using the three methods I'll show you in today's video. These three methods are among the best you'll find online for fixing missing DLL file issues, especially the msvcr100.dll error. Most games and programs need this file to run properly on your system. Let's jump right into the steps. And before we begin, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell icon set to all so you don't miss any new tutorials we upload. Support us with a like and a quick comment. Let's go. We'll start with the three methods. You can try each method separately, but for the best result, it's recommended to try all three together to fix the issue permanently. This is a simple and very effective solution. Open the run dialog by pressing Windows key plus R. Then type this command, regxvr32 msvcr100.dll. You'll see this code on screen and I'll also leave it in the video description. Then click OK. This command automatically registers the missing DLL file into your system. Now, try launching the game or program that had the issue. Hopefully it will now run without any errors. Tool method 2. This one's even easier. We'll directly download the missing DLL file. All you need to do is go to this website, the link is in the video description, or simply search on Google, download msvcr100.dil. Once you're on the site, search for the missing file, msvcr100.dll, press enter, and you'll find it at the bottom of the page. Click it, then click the file name again to download. Save the file, for example, to your desktop. After it's downloaded, copy the file. Then paste it into the folder of the game that's showing the error. In my case, it was Call of Duty before it got fixed. Right-click the game icon, select Open File Location, and paste the file there. Next, go to drive C colon, then to the Windows folder. If your system is 32-bit, go to the System32 folder and paste the file. If your system is 64-bit, go to the SysWow64 folder instead and paste it there. It's recommended to also paste it into System32 even if you're on a 64-bit system. Now try running the game or program again. In most cases, it should work just fine now. Method 3. This is a very important and super effective method. It will save you from similar issues in the future. Just install DirectX on your PC. This is one of the best tools that helps games and programs run properly on any Windows system. It creates an ideal environment and automatically includes any missing files, no more manual fixes or errors. You'll find the download link in the description, or you can visit Microsoft's official website. Search for DirectX, press enter, you'll see multiple versions. Choose the one that suits your system, like the one I'm showing now. Download and install it normally. I'll also leave direct download links for both DirectX and the DLL file website in the video description. And that's it. We've now gone through the three best ways to fix the msvcr100.dll error, whether it shows up while launching a game or running a program. Let me know in the comments which method worked for you, one, two, or three, and whether it solved your issue. And before you go, please don't forget to like the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications set to all so you never miss a helpful tutorial again.